The energy market which was dependent on oil and gas so far is undergoing a transformation due to the electric vehicle revolution, and it goes without saying that whoever controls the manufacture of batteries and resources will control the geopolitics of the future. The US, Russia, the Middle East and China are in the race to control the battery market with China already racing ahead. While the Chinese mining companies dominate the supply of core materials such as lithium, cobalt, manganese and nickel, its chemical companies account for 80% of the world's total output of raw materials for advanced batteries. Africa's Congo region accounts for 70% of the supply of the most expensive of the raw materials, cobalt, and Chinese companies own the rights to four out of seven cobalt mines in Congo. China also accounts for 76% of the global supply of precursors, a combination of nickel, cobalt and manganese, and it controls 57% of global aluminium output, necessary to produce anodes. China's contemporary Amperex Technology Company Limited is the world's largest maker of electric vehicle batteries, and it is expanding production bases to North America, Europe, and Southeast Asia. CATL accounted for one-third or 32.6% of the global electric vehicle battery market last year. Outside China, cattle controls 12.9% of the global market, more than doubling 2020's share. The combined global market share of China's top five if battery makers rose from 35.7% in 2020 to 55.2% in the first two months of this year. As the world rapidly shifts to renewable energy technologies, research and development, gathering related resources is crucial and hence a battery revolution in India is the need of the hour. It is dangerous if the world depends on one country to provide key raw materials, and hence it is ideal to have indigenous resources and battery manufacturing with innovation and development.